we have calculated time of the flight which is 2u by g into sin theta. Now we want to calculate height, this maximum height. Again maximum height depends upon the vertical motion, it is a topic of vertical motion. So what are the features with help of which we can find out maximum height? The answer is when it reaches maximum height then its vertical velocity becomes zero because it is not going up anymore. Therefore, there it stops, the vertical velocity becomes zero. So, for maximum height, v final velocity, final velocity v is equal to zero. What is initial velocity? What we are calculating in which way? The answer is in vertical calculations, vertical. So initial velocity is equal to u sin theta. Final velocity is 0, initial velocity u sin theta and we know acceleration is equal to g and what we are trying to find out height height is what displacement and which height it will be when velocity becomes zero this height is maximum height okay find out s is equal to this is initial velocity final velocity so we have the equation which is s is equal to v square minus u square upon 2 a s. This is equation sorry upon 2 a. This is equation third equation putting the values s is equal to maximum height this we are going to find out this is equal to v square 0 minus u square u square sin square theta upon 2 into a. What is acceleration? Acceleration is equal to acceleration is equal to g minus g. So, we must write here minus g. Minus minus is cancelled. So, we have this answer maximum height is equal to maximum height is equal to u square upon 2g and this is sin square theta. This is maximum height h max is equal to u square upon 2g and sin square theta. Now we will try to find out range of this. Range is what? range is horizontal distance and the range in horizontal distance has to be calculated by horizontal motion and this calculation we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.